Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, we're about to get the Sea in the Dark helmet. Now this, as we mentioned, is an exception to the rule about not wearing plate armor. Because this is kind of important. So we will be putting this on. But that's it. No Bever. No other plate items, just that. And also, we are out of health sands. So that's not good. And we have to be extra careful. Now, of course, if Darren gets hurt or something, who cares? But if I get hurt, then that's a problem. Alright, nothing there. You know what? I bet it's possible to fall over this thing and die. I bet that's possible. I'm not going to try it, obviously, but I bet it's possible. Like, maybe if you run into it full speed or something. Alright. This right here, this is like when some, like a friend of yours gives you a birthday present or something, and they wrap it and put tape all over it, so it takes a Herculean effort to open it, and then there's nothing inside, and then they give you the real gift. Of course, in this case, you don't actually get any gift, but you know what I mean. All right, you think you're enjoying what? All this is exciting, you know, the exploring, even the danger. Well, I wish one of the responses was, you're an idiot, Darren. Be quiet. That would be the response I would choose. All right, nothing useful in here, but we did get our exploration XP, so not a complete wash. All right, let's go down this hallway here. Okay, so there's a Warhammer that does three crush. That's uh, that's pretty nice. And because we have our Sea in the Dark helmet, we don't really need the torch. I'm going to get rid of the one-handed Warhammer. And uh, let me get out of the way, Darren. Let me check this coat. Whoops. Not very good. All right, isn't there usually a zombie here? Where, where is this zombie? Thought there was. Maybe I'm thinking of some other place. All right, so there's a coat that we can give to Darren. So that will replace his tunic. I must be thinking of a different room. <clears throat> I could have sworn though it was that one. I guess it's theoretically possible that if there was a zombie in here, they could have walked up here. I must be thinking of a different room. You know what? I'm going to flip this around to the piercing side by pressing F, which we just did. This is a bathroom over here. No reason to uh, bother with that. Probably nothing in there, that's right. Don't remember if there was something in here or not. I don't think there is. No, okay. All right, another coat. You know what? I'll replace mine with this one. Yeah, it's better. Come on. Uh, what are the stats on this one again? Yeah, 
ours is better. In fact, what... It's in fair condition. Oh, I don't have any... Oh, I do have an upgrade sphere. Let's use this. So, I mean, we're probably not... I can't even think of when the next time we'll find something we can wear is going to be. So now that's in flawless condition and we got even better stats. So that's good. Alright, just a tunic. Okay. Whoa. How did I miss this zombie? Looks like I was way off. As was that. There it is. There it is. All right. I wonder if they were standing there that whole time that I was walking around that room. They probably were. Nothing in here. I did not mean to drop that mattress on my own head. You know, there's one thing that's... There's a zombie over there. There's one thing that's... Uh, it's not annoying or anything. I don't have a problem with it. There's an upgrade sphere. But there's something that's inconsistent in the game, and that is my ability to pick things up at a distance and move them. Like, what is that? <laughs> and, like, opening doors. What is that? Am I using telekinesis? No, because you have to learn telekinesis, and it uses mana, and you use it for specific things. But, like, how do you explain what I'm doing? Like, how I manipulate things otherwise? How do you explain that? Like, how do I pick this mattress up and drop it on my own head without actually, you know, picking it up? Again, I don't care. I'm not, I'm certainly not complaining. I'm certainly not saying, oh, we need to change this because it's messing up my immersion or something ridiculous. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. But I, I don't, again, I don't want it to change, okay? Don't, no, don't mistake me for saying that. All right, we should hear the proctor. Yep. Proctor is always fighting that zombie out there when you get to this part. I believe my boots are better. Yeah. You know, I've mentioned this before, but oh, this is the room I was thinking of. This is where the zombie is. Yeah, I was thinking of this room. Now, where are they, though? I don't... Oh, there they are. Okay. Now, I had an idea, is what I was going to say. I've mentioned before in the past, like, people will ask, why do you not have the game's music on? We learned strikes, by the way. I don't have any problem with the game's music. Just putting that, just making that very clear. I have no problem with the game's music. But in the very beginning, a long time ago, we just activated strikes. When I first started making Xanima videos, I got, the videos got flagged, uh, well not, but whatever, they got demonetized because of the music. And uh, I, I, I'm not, okay, this is a coif, okay, it's made of male, we can wear it. Uh, anyway. So that's why I turned the music off to begin with. Now, I, 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 I'm I pretty sure that's changed today. I don't think you, you get, like, demonetized for the music in the game. I don't know. I haven't done it in forever. But anyway, that's why I initially turned the music off. But it got to the point where I liked it more without the music. It just makes the atmosphere more gritty, more, uh, more creepy. And I just, again, I just, 
I got to the point where I realized I like it better without music. However, however, I had an idea recently to uh, make my own music for these videos for the background. Just as an experiment, I'm going to grab this Proctor Sword. And you know what? I'm going to toss this one. Just as an experiment, just to see what it would be like, because I have some ideas in mind. Uh, mostly, it would fall into the realm of dark ambient, but uh, I'm kind of curious what how it might go down. So maybe, and I'm not saying this is a certainty, but maybe sometime soon I might record some background music here and then use it on an episode just to see. Just to see what it's like. Alright, so I'm going to give this other Gambeson to Darren. It's just a thought. It's just a thought. And again, please don't misinterpret what I'm saying. I have no problem with the music in the game. It's just I got to the point where I didn't want there to be music anyway. But now I'm thinking, I wonder what it would what it would be like, you know, if I just if I put my own stuff here just for my for my video. So why not? So I might try it. I might not. I don't know. See how it goes. All right. So that key we just picked up is going to give us access to a closet, and that closet has an Executioner's sword, which doesn't have a tip for stabbing. It's two-handed, does slashing damage. I never use it. I'm not going to take it. But of course, we go in there, we explore to get the XP. This key uh, will take you back to the beginning of the floor, similar to the situation on the second floor. Don't need it. This is the bottom line. There we go. Oh, there's somebody else. Oh, man. Barely missed. Oh, come on. How did I miss that one? I didn't even hit her with the uh, the spiked part there. Okay, anyway. I was going to look at the uh, battle axe here. I'm going to put this in Darren's inventory for now. Might be an option for him, anyway. I don't want any of these swords... And uh, there's a few, like, different scattered weapons and things around here. I don't want any of them. They're never any good. Uh, Darren's helmet is pretty good. Is it better than this? I don't remember. Yes, it is. Okay. Two and a half crush on that Warhammer is not bad, but we got a two-handed one now. All right, we learned Union. Uh, we're going to work on Continuity 2 next. I'm not in any hurry to learn Maneuvering in Armor 3, because I don't think we're going to wear anything much heavier than what we have. Uh, so how does this compare to Darren's Bever? His is better. All right. This is the aforementioned closet. And there is the aforementioned executioner's sword. And we don't need any of this. Okay. I'm going to flip this around to the crushing side. Because we will be dealing with a couple of skeletons... Uh, at the end of this floor. Alright, so this is basically the only other piece of armor we're going to get. Uh, these male leggings. So we have half a circle of encumbrance. And again, probably won't ever get higher than that at this point. And... They're extremely well made. I'm going to upgrade these. Lawless condition. Very nice.
Yeah, we don't need to bother with that other room. We'll go over here to the shoe department. Yeah, nope. Oh, man. Wow, those are nice. Much better than these quilted trousers I had on, that's for sure. And these reinforced shoes are probably better than Darren's. Yep. Swap those out. Uh, all right. Why has it taken Darren so long to keep up with me? I mean, I know he's got more encumbrance than me, but come on. It's ridiculous. Another spiked mace. Nope. And we don't need that leather helm. Certainly not at this point. Alright. I was really hoping we might find a salve. But nope. It was not to be. Now it's time to fight two skeletons. notice, whoops, you'll notice immediately that these skeletons are nowhere near as difficult as the ones in the catacombs. Just not even close. Alright. Did we already have this red damage? I don't even remember. I don't think we did. Did I just, I must have just gotten that. What's that thing? What does it look like, Darren? What could it, what could it possibly be but a portal? Alright, now we are in Sir's realm. As always, we're going to hope that we don't run into Sir, but last time we certainly did. But uh, usually we don't. Uh, we have a much better record of not ever seeing him versus running into him. So let's, uh, let's hope that the odds are on our side. Alright, so I can't wear the arm harness. But, Darren can. And no, I will not use upgrade spheres to improve his gear. That's just not going to happen. We'll give him these plate gauntlets as well. two-handed mace, yeah, it's only three crush. If it were three and a half, I'd be like, okay, but I think Darren's fine with the uh, one-handed mace right now and the shield. 
Plus, when he has if he has the two-handed mace, he's more likely to hit me with it. All right. Okay, so this is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you, as always, for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe if you would like to. And I will see you all next time.